Good evening ladies and gentlemen and we're back again with one last honing video for the night and I thought I'd go ahead and do a JNAT session here then to give a little bit of an update I've decided not I repeat not to do shape videos too many people out there are doing this and I like doing what I'm doing now so why mess up a good time so let's get waddles and twaddles here, will we? This is a Shubadani Asueto Type 100. Type 100 is the size, which is 6 by 2 inches. And uh, you can get these anywhere. They're pretty reasonable. Usually around 100 bucks, maybe. Give or take. So, And you need slurry with this one. And I've done got my... Uh, so here a 1k 3k combo and prep stone in here already so soaking so let's start with the prep stone which is in my opinion is rougher than the uh, other Suhiro stone I got yeah after some thought I'm like you know what there's other people out there that do shave videos why would anybody tune in to see my pinch toe fat how to can shave you know, I just rather hone and enjoy the shaves privately. Don't be friendly with it. Beat the living tar out of it. Now we're getting there. Got a few more razors to hone on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just do 10 strokes on the uh, two gold dollar razors I got. Give or take with each slurry. There we go. Mud should be coming up pretty good now. Hmm. That's unusual. It normally don't take it long. Okay, let's get started here. Alright. Just X strokes is all I'm gonna do. Now this thing here will be like my shaft and it'll start to get sicky once I get it to where I want it to be. And it could take a little bit. Do. Hope everybody's having a lovely evening this evening. Doing well, prosper, relaxing. Nothing on TV tonight, that's for sure. All right. Sure enough, I should have known. Titties. I should have wiped off the razor first. Now I gotta do that all over again, no problem. Always make sure your razors are wiped off and free of debris and clean as much as possible. I believe I'm about there where I needed to be already on this one. Don't take long. for the ZY razor. Hmm. 
This one's getting pretty sticky already. Nice. There we go. Now, new guys, you're not going to learn this overnight. You're going to need time on the stones. And when I mean time on the stones, the stones, I mean time on the stones like honing not just ZZYs or these gold dollars, but also some of these as well. Also couldn't home for a couple of buddies and friends and whatnot to see how your edges are and learn from my experience. Say, hey, what'd you think about this one? And they'll they'll tell you, Oh, I don't like this one, but I like that one. Whatever you did on that one was perfect. And then they'll tell you they'll tell they'll be straight up honest with you. And uh, you can use that experience and learn from it. Basically, the reason I'm sticking with my buddy Keith's technique, it's consistent, it's easy to do, I don't have to count nothing. You know what I mean? I know it's going to be even, you know, even Steven, all the way across the board, you know. And now I get why he hones like this. It makes perfect sense. So if you're watching Keith Johnson, thank you. I get it now. Don't take long. It just... Takes a little bit of a getting past the stubbornness. I believe this one here is about done already. Okay, that takes care of the ZY. Now we go to the gold dollar 207. My buddy Frank Mees had done a fabulous job at setting the bevel on this one. It's dang near perfect geometry every time. I don't know how he does it. But he does, and he does an excellent job. StrikeGoldShave.com This one's starting to get real sticky too. Here in a minute, I'll be forced to get up and uh, take my acid reflux medicine real quick while I continue to hone. If I don't take it, I'll be up hacking all night. And the food I eat earlier tastes good once, but it don't taste good all night and then the next day and the day after that. can't stand acid reflux. It drives me crazy sometimes. You gotta watch what you eat and half the stuff that you love to eat. You can't stand to go near it because you know what it's gonna do to you in the long term. Oh yeah. Feedback seriously changed on this one now. I believe that'll do it for the 207 in this slurry for this prep stone. All right, let me rinse this stone off real quick. <clears throat>
Good old Dasani water. Alrighty. It's strange, isn't it? How this right here is a Suhiro 1K and the prep stone that I used earlier is also a 1K, yet the blue versus the white is smoother. Figure that one out, right? Alright, <laughs> dilute my slurry just a tiny bit. Boom. Boom. Alright. Now, we do uh, continue on with the uh, the uh, Griffin Double X. There we go. Feedback's gotten way better with this one. Oh yeah. Also another thing new guys. Be patient. Relax. Enjoy the honing. Because you're not going to get it the first time out. Maybe not even the second one. You might get lucky the third or fourth time. You just got to keep at it and stay committed to it, and eventually you'll get it to where you want it to be. Shave with it. And say, okay, that didn't feel too hot. Why? What did I do? Another thing you can do is write down your procedure at what you did. You know, which technique did you use? Did you use this slurry? Did you use that slurry? Did you uh, spend too much time on it? Did you spend too little time on it? Did your razor feel rough or did it feel great? What was your feedback like? I mean, you can go nuts with this stuff. Just hone and get a feel for it and keep going. And eventually, you'll get to where you need to be. And that's when it will become truly addictive. This stuff is like heroin. Totally addictive. Only difference is this one here is much more safer than any drug can ever be. So new guys, be patient with this. Stick with it. Learn. Do try things, you know. And don't get involved in the BS hype. If you think it's a good stone, you want to give it a whirl, go right ahead. Don't listen to the poop bot that says, oh, you need to do this and this and this. Chances are, nine times out of ten, that poo ball is full of crap and has really never honed nothing in his life. So, all I do is sit here and hone. Nothing more. I could not care less about what so and so poo ball says anything because I'm going to try it anyway, one form or another, unless I know for sure 
that the spot of information is true, but usually nine times out of ten it's not. Not unless it comes from somebody respectable. Then you go that route. I'm using the weight of the blade only, folks. No need for pressure. Let's see what we got here. You need a little bit at the heel. I'm doing a slight roll. That got it. That's what I needed right there. Even Steven all the way across. To get the slurry a little tiny bit. And keep the stones wet and drying out. May have diluted too much, but that's okay. I can do this. Just got through going on the uh, internet for a little bit while the phone charged, uh, which is why I'm using the film is. And I seen that WWE Superstar Kane. Not that I watch that stuff now. Is now officially mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Very cool. I didn't think that those guys would run for mayor or whatever. Not since uh, Jesse Ventura. But uh, nonetheless, that's pretty cool to see something like that. All right, let's now do the ZY. Ooh. I think this is probably what I needed for these uh for the ZY and the gold dollar. Because they're getting sticky pretty quick. Good so far. Eighteen minutes. It's a little rough on that side, so do a little polishing action here. I got it. Boy, did that get it. That got a real good, actually. Do the inside to make it even.
Not often you see me do circles, is it? That mom in there sneezing. Bingo, bango, done. That takes care of the ZY. Now, let's do the uh, 207. I suspect this one will do good already, and it is. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That's what we got now. Let's head back towards here. I'm going to do a little bit of a circle with a roll, a little cant to it. Not much, but can't, but enough. Didn't look even all the way across. And I suspect that was probably my fault right there. Let's see what we got. That did it. I gave it that one extra to even it out on that side versus this side over here. That'll work. Slurry number three coming up. But first, let me pause this and I'll be bring you right back. I got to clean off the stone real quick. Okay, we're back. I've got the stone cleaned off. Now for one last slurry and this should do it. This is a Suhera 3K side down. And it's sticking pretty good. Okay, now Oh yeah Rolls. So we got that done it. Okay, now for the ZY. Suspect it won't take too much longer either, and it's not. It's already getting a little somewhat sticky. Oh yeah. That's usually when you know when to quit on the J that's when it gets sticky. So what we got now, I'm pretty sure I'm done. Oh yeah. Did you get the inside. 
perfect. Tell me I just didn't. Yeah, I did. Just on the tip. Okay, that took care of the tip. Yep, back at it. Okay, now for the 207. It's not taking too long either. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, do you see my stone getting sticky? That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. Oh yeah, perfect. And that will do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm going to call that good, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, pause this and uh, clean off the stone, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've already cleaned up a little bit, as you can see, and I went ahead and stropped 10 round trips on my Mustang 3-inch leather strop, pour side strop. Just 10 round trips, that's all I do. My, you see my stropping videos and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to call that good and call it a night. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Take care. And God bless.